We are on the day five of Imtex 2022 exhibition. We are at Thermex Industries, where we are having with us Joseph uh, Thomas and Jisa Joseph. Both are uh, from uh, Thermex Industries, and they are uh, displaying a made in India uh, welding CNC cutting machine. So, can you just uh, tell about this machine? What you have exhibited here in Imtex? Yeah. Uh... We basically uh, are from uh, an industry where we provide uh, uh, equipments and services for steel fabrication industries. And in steel fabrication, it starts from cutting the steel, the raw material has to be cut, then it has to be prepared for welding, that is welded preparation, pre and post heating equipments, and then welding. So that completes the process of steel fabrication. In which the cutting machine is the first product which is the most costliest product and this machine we have started manufacturing in our with our technical collaboration with our uh, European partner who has specialized in making the controller, drive systems, electronics, height control system and uh, we contribute our uh, uh, support with manufacturing the machine here in India. Uh, it is also, we have seen that you have a lot of uh, uh, principals uh, who are you, whom, whose product you have exhibited. Apart from this is your first product which you manufacture. Yeah. Apart from that you have a lot of other products. So how you started this Make in India product? Uh, no, my, when I got into Indian market, my uh, interest was to support with the maximum products which go for a uh, steel fabrication company. Uh, any customer who is doing steel fabrication, they have to cut, they have to bevel, they have to heat, they have to weld. So these products were there from Europe with me. But when I, I, I when I thought about the cutting machines, the costing was not fitting into the market, local market, Indian market. So then that pricing which was difficult, I, uh, you can say, back integrated and I just thought about making it in India and only using their components which are critical and those products to be mounted on my machine. So that's how we started the Make in India. So actually you have more than now uh 21 years of experience in uh, managing these cutting yes. welding machines. Yes. You started your career in Dubai, Dubai uh, yeah. where you from 2001 you are selling these machines there. Yes. And 2009 you started Thermex in Dubai. No, in India. Okay. Yeah. 2011, but you uh, came from Dubai, right? Yeah. 2009 we registered this company in India, and 2011 we fully got in engaged. Yeah. From there. So. What is the difference between the Middle East market and Indian market? Uh, if you want to know about the difference in the Middle East market and Indian market, it is just the exchange ratio. You know, Middle East is more affordable because one euro is just probably when I was there, it was just uh, four rupee, uh, four dirhams, and in India, one euro is eighty-six rupees so it makes a big difference when you are talking about the cost of the machine so it's a hundred thousand euros machine in dubai it will be just four hundred thousand in india it will be into 86 very very high yeah, that, that so, uh, in india the far east produced machines which are very cheap they got a big end market in India, the end users are not so knowledgeable uh, knowledgeable about assessing what they are buying. They just look into the length and width of the machine and they buy a machine. How it is going to work, how long it is going to work and what quality it is going to work, but they are not. Madam, uh, what were the uh, initial challenges you faced when you came from Dubai you set up your uh, operations here in India. What were the challenges you were facing at that point of time? We had a 
tough time initially. Uh, it was a baby for us first of all. Uh, migrating here, bringing the kids here. And, uh, the finance was one problem because uh, we did not have any idea. Every time you ask for money from bank, they ask for three years of idea. So we did not have, we did not have anything like that. And besides that, the taxation was one big part which we were not used to. We don't have that in Middle East. They have started now, but uh, when we initially came, it was excise, bad, service tax. We had a lot of problems and issues with that because it was totally a new concept for us. Uh, but maybe because of GST now, it is easy for us. And uh, now we are a little more stable. So bankers are now coming to us. That's that. We were begging. Uh, one more uh, uh, major factor was the corruption. And corruption was something which was very difficult for us to uh, you know, undergo. Now things are better. Yes. Things are better. We, yeah. we have faced that. We, we personally feel it is helping us in business. A lot of people don't say, but we have uh, experienced that that you don't need uh, mediators for uh, running a company now. Before it was like that. We had a service tax person, we had an excise person, CA would not help us, we had to control the CA, and uh, those things are out now. It is a big issue. This is a wonderful news, not just for you, for all the industry for that matter. Now, madam, last, lastly, now you have your own product. Like yes. you were, you have your, baby your baby, your brand. Yes. How do you feel about that? We are hoping the best from Imtex. I hope that we get a lot of orders. We want to come back in Imtex. Great. There is a Make in India product and these Make in India products also comes with the global quality. As Mr. Joseph told, no compromise in quality. One reason he gone for during the COVID uh, times, he invested his time. He was not getting a design. He designed himself this machine for the Indian market, keeping the price in mind, but he never compromised the quality. A lot of products are imported from Europe yes. and he is using in this huge cutting machine, CNC cutting machine. Please visit Imtex. Uh, we have two days and you can come and see this beauty and we wish all the best for you. Thank you, Thank you very much.